Photo Universe. Uh, here we are today. We're going to be talking about hyperfocal distance focusing, which is that scale right there. Let's see how close I can get with that. There you go. So basically, the bottom line is, is when you see that it says, let's say we want to shoot at f16, we put infinity at f16. And we can kind of guess that from F16, at F16, somewhere from about two and a half feet to infinity, we'll be in focus if we set our distance scale at 1.3 meters. So about four feet. And that scale helps you out. Now that's a prime lens. Many lenses don't have that these days. We'll go over that again. But with a 21 millimeter lens, on a, a DA or FX or crop camera, F16 will get you from about two and a half feet to infinity if you focus at about four feet. Okay. F8 will get you, oh, about 1.3 meters, so about four feet to infinity. Focus somewhere in the middle there. So you can set your camera to manual focus. F16, turn that to there, and you know you're getting from two and a half feet to infinity in focus. And that's how you do landscapes, or you pre focus, let's say you're at a wedding, you pre focus there, so you know from four feet to infinity is in focus at F8 with this lens. Bride coming down the aisle, you don't even need autofocus. That's how we used to do it in the old days with manual focus lenses. We pre focused at F8 using hyperfocal distance. We could guesstimate when the bride was about 10 feet away from you. Perfect. Bang. Every time. Okay. So that's how it works on that lens. When we look at most people have modern zooms. That, come on. Focus, focus, focus. It's not focusing. Let's help it along a little bit. There we go. Most people have modern zooms. They don't have that capability. To pre focus like that. So, and it makes sense. I mean, they have the capability, but you don't, they don't know what focal length you're going to be using it at. So, so that's hyperfocal distance. Hyperfocal distance focusing. Okay. And what that looks like is so here's your mountains right I, I'm a photographer not an artist all right and so here's your tripod with your camera on top and what we're saying is let me move that a little bit there we go so what we're saying is is you got a flower here Right, and you want, and the flower is at like, let's say three feet away from your camera, and the mountains are at infinity. So if you set your lens to f16, that chart, well, if you're using a 21 millimeter lens, that chart is telling you on that lens that if you manually focus at about four feet, so you're focusing there you're going to get from here to infinity in focus. And that's hyperfocal distance. And that's how it works. And it's just that easy. And that's one of the main reasons why these prime lenses are so cool. Because they have those scales on them. And we like that. Now, the wider your lens gets, the more hyperfocal distance you're going to get out of your lens. And what I mean by that is, is with a, let's say a 15 millimeter lens, you know, F16 is going to give you from like one and a half feet to infinity, at, focused at like f three feet, three and a half feet, something like that. But that's what's nice about those primes, and that's what's nice. Uh, Gale and Rowell use this all the time. So it's a really neat way to do it. So, you know, you're giving up the convenience of a zoom, but you're gaining the convenience of hyperfocal scales on your lenses and you can carry around the chart I guess but 
you can you can you can accomplish some a lot of photography really quick using this this method. So the primes have their advantages. This is one of them, and that's hyperfocal distance focusing. All right, and of course this ties into the whole concept of how aperture, the hole in your lens, right? F8. This isn't shutter speed. This is aperture, right? So how the aperture in the lens affects the the focusing. So with uh, just to go over that, at f2.8, a bigger hole in your lens, you're going to get a lot less in focus. So 2.8. And at f16, you get all this. Well, we made a mess out of our whiteboard. That means hopefully we're learning something. The beauty of this video is that you can watch it again and again and again. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, send them to me. I'll be happy to answer them. So that's it at Photo Universe. This is a short one. This is hyperfocal distance focusing. And we appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.